Carbenes can be divided into three categories. First, the ordinary carbene. Secondly, the carbene metal complex. This is where the carbene and a metal create a double bond between each other. There are two forms of carbene metal complexes. One has a partially positive charge on the carbon, and the metal is partially negative. This is called a Fischer carbene complex. It's found where the metal is of lower oxidation state. This is based on a singlet carbene where the filled sp2 orbital interacts with an empty d orbital of the metal to form a bond. In addition, the empty p orbital of the carbene interacts with a filled d orbital of the metal to give a second bond. This has some similarities with the polarization we see in a carbonyl group. The other carbene metal complex has a partially negative charge on the carbon and a partially positive charge on the metal. This is called a Schrock carbene complex. It's found where the metal is of higher oxidation state. Again, there's a double bond, but this time it's from the triplet state of the carbene, where a single electron in an sp2 orbital interacts with a single electron in a metal d orbital to give a bond, and there's also a single electron in a carbene p orbital that interacts with a single electron in another d orbital of the metal. The third category is a carbenoid, and it's rather loosely defined. It is a carbene-like system, but with four bonds from the carbon, as opposed to two bonds we find in a carbene. The carbene metal complexes can be viewed as metal carbenoids. An example of a carbenoid is a Simmons-Smith reaction. The carbenoid is like the prior carbene metal complexes, except the carbon is singly bonded to the zinc metal. A carbenoid reacts with an alkene to give a transition state where the carbon is in the center of a butterfly-type transition state. 